So good morning, uh, my name is Laura Topanisa Mudongo and I'm currently a Gender Data Research Officer uh, based at the African Union International Centre for Girls Education in Africa, AUCFR. We are based in Burkina Faso, Ouagadougou. We have a strategic plan which is really rooted or anchored by four strategic axes. Um, the first strategic axis being gender responsive education frameworks. Um, the second one being curriculum reform and teacher education. And the third one being science, technology, um, engineering, arts and mathematics and skills development. Uh, the emphasis there being on the arts STEAM uh, instead of you know STEM for us trying to show the innovation part and trying to uh, pay homage to innovation and creativity in terms of skills development. And then lastly, um, education in, human, in emergency and humanitarian contexts in Africa. Those are our four strategic axes. Um, but in trying to implement that strategic plan, we have a number of flagship programs that we are doing. Uh, we lobby and mobilize um, African Union member states. We engage them through various fora. Uh, we have the high-level dialogues that we run often um, at the margins of the AU summit at the beginning of the year. Um, we engage young people through our youth capacity building workshops in which we are just trying to capacitate them on championing for girls' education in Africa. And we also engage traditional leaders and um, religious leaders knowing the very important role that they play particularly you know in mobilizing communities and even shaping uh, cultural norms in communities so we engage them and then we also have our Africa educates her campaign uh, in which we are trying to visibilize some of the issues that affect girls, particularly here in Africa. So, um, and um, lastly, we have an engagement with education experts across African Union member states, and we also engage the Pan-African Parliament uh, on mobilizing and lobbying and championing for girls' education through policy reforms, legislations, even on the ground um, initiatives with development partners. I think in answering that question around occupational segregation, we first have to tackle the issue of girls accessing education in the first place before they can even go to accessing STEAM, right? Um, and firstly, we think it's imperative for member states to prioritize uh, legislative um, and policy reform in ensuring reintegration re um, of girls in schools because um, evidence is showing that, that uh, a very large number of girls are out of school with some of them not even being able to set foot in classrooms so we need that policy reform that legislative reform and prioritization but for steam in particular we need investments once again funding investments to ensure that there's an uptake of girls um, in those specific areas we also need to see curriculum reform um, to challenge some of the gender stereotypes um, some, some of the gender inequality and norms that we see sometimes in the curriculum in the form of textbooks in the classrooms and we also need to see um, schools being safe for girls as well for them to um, uptake um, ICT and there's also an important issue of representation right so we also need to see as many women as possible as role models so that the younger girls can see that it's possible to actually pursue STEM and STEAM uh, in particular. And for African Union CFI in particular, we hosted an education expert meeting last year in Dakar in which we convened education experts um, from different African Union member states to dissect the learning losses and to see what have we lost and how can we regain this and they came up with the we came up with the Dakar declaration in which uh, we listed practical ways that we believe that the learning losses um, can be recovered from COVID-19 disruptions in particular so we have the Dakar declaration that we are willing to share with everybody and that ties in very well with the Africa Educator campaign that we are running and we are hoping to see gain momentum particularly next year for 2024 as the year of education for all um, education stakeholders.